Hi, uh, this is Taylor Mouse, and in this tutorial, I'll explain you uh, what you will be needing to move a or to convert a World of Warcraft model into StarCraft 2. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to show you a list of the tools and the uh, things you need. So, the first thing you need is 3D Studio Max 2011. You can download the Student Edition for free. Um, why 2012, 2011? Sorry, uh, because the art tools that we're going to use only work with 3D Studio Max uh, 2011. All the links that you will see here uh, will be at the bottom of the, um, the video. Uh, second thing you need is uh, Photoshop uh, uh, or any other graphical program. The Photoshop I need. Uh, why do I use this one? Is I can use the NVIDIA plugin for making the normal maps. Uh, that do not exist in World of Warcraft, but uh, which you do need in StarCraft 2. Uh, fourth thing is StarCraft 2 art tools. These can be downloaded from uh, for free from the Blizzard Entertainment um, website. Uh, the M2 importer, which can be downloaded from uh, ST2 Mapster. Of course, the World of Warcraft model viewer, so you can select the, the model uh, that you want and export the textures, the M2, and the skin uh, files that we will be using. StarCraft 2 and World of Warcraft, of course. So, uh, first thing is um, 3D Studio Max. <coughs> you need to register and you will get a free 3D year license as of the day you register. Um, second thing is a uh, photo editor or the uh, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop. You can download a trial uh, or you can use any other free tool, whatever you want. Um, third thing is uh, the NVIDIA texture tools for Adobe Photoshop, which work with all of these versions. Um, the cool thing about this is you only need to do a small uh, change in the uh, diffuse map to have a rather pretty good looking uh, normal map which we will be using. Um, StarCraft 2 art tools can be downloaded. Uh, I strongly suggest you follow the documentation because uh, there you will see the animations that you require, the reference points you require, um, the other objects needed, uh, how you can export and commit your model so other people can use it. Um, the M3 plugin, uh, sorry, the M2 import script that we're going to use uh, is a part of um, the M3 plugins version 1.6 and all of these we're not actually going to use, we're just going to use the M2 import uh, from the bundle, so you need to download the complete zip file, export it, and put it in your startup folder of your 3D Studio Max. Uh, and then from Confluence, we need to World of Warcraft Model Viewer. So once you have downloaded everything, installed it, um, of course, you start with 3D Studio Max, you download the art tools, install them, and you take this one and you put that in your um, program files uh, Autodesk 2D Studio Max 2011 go to folder scripts and then go to startup and here you'll need to put your um, import script okay once you have done all this um, you're ready to start up your uh, World of Warcraft model viewer and it will up start loading the models uh, so you can take a look at them. Uh, that will be covered in the next tutorial. So thank you for listening here and we'll go to tutorial number two.